Uh, give it up for Sean Hayes, huh? Doing a great job. Uh, Sean, you know what? I'm not gonna stand up here and run a bunch of hacky gay jokes into the ground, all right? I'm not Will and Grace. <laughs> Larry Bird is here. I mean, Nikki Glazer is here. <laughs> You know, the only difference between Larry Bird and Nikki Glaser is Larry could actually pass his 33. Devastating. So, I'm sorry, you were so nice earlier. I, I just, yeah. yeah. Nikki, look at you. You damaged little climber. You know, Nikki was the only girl kicked off Jeffrey Epstein's island for networking. <laughs> Adam Carolla is here. You know, Adam looks like the kind of guy who calls black athletes thoroughbreds. Uh, Caroline Ray from Sabrina is here, give it up. But Caroline, if you're here, that means uh, Salem the Cat must have turned this down, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. De Niro, we know how much you love that black pussy. <laughs> nice to meet you, by the way. <laughs> Big fan. Chris Red looks like a police sketch of someone doing blackface. <laughs> you look like nephew Jemima. <laughs> Why do you always look like you just got your braces off? <laughs> Speaking of Chris Red, Caitlyn Jenner is here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like Caitlin, my transitions are really awkward. <laughs> Caitlin completed her gender reassignment in 2017, finally confirming that no one in that family wants a white dick. She was coming after me there for a second. <laughs> Caitlin's pussy is so young. How young is it? Alec just called it a rude, thoughtless little pig. <laughs> well, look, look, for real. I, I know we're all here making fun of Caitlin, but honestly, I want to take this moment to publicly thank you. Uh, as an athlete, I want to thank you for your bravery. Um, and as a, as a human, I want to thank you for the doors you've opened. And on behalf of the entire NBA and half of the rappers on the Billboard charts, I want to thank you for giving your daughters their daddy issues. Mr. Alec Baldwin. Give it up. Uh, Alec, I can tell you're from New York, because just like the Knicks, you've somehow gotten worse every year since the 90s. You know, Alec kind of looks like a team owner that saves money by massaging the players himself. Uh, and I played for Donald Sterling, so. You might think Alex had an easy life, but he's had hardships. Uh, he once had someone take his parking spot. Um, another time, a flight attendant asked him to turn his phone off before takeoff. And according to Alex's reactions, those are the two worst things to ever happen to him. In the NBA, we have a term for people like you. It's a bad teammate. 
Like, you were in Glen Gary, Glen Ross with Kevin Spacey, and you couldn't even tell him that ABC doesn't mean always blow children? I would have told him. Uh, but you know what? I'm happy I'm here tonight, because tonight I learned you're a family man, you give to charity, uh, and you're a big enough man to sit up here and let us roast you. You truly are a kind, thoughtful little pig. Good job, good job.